Yeah, no more fun and games, guys. Today, we're talking about why you should be worried about Sonic Movie 3. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sonic, bringing you guys another video. In this video today, we are talking about Sonic Movie 3. We're just gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm concerned about this film. Before we hop into the really big thick of things, I wanna clarify, when I say that Sonic Movie 3 is in big trouble or that you should be worried about it, I'm not speaking about the film itself. I have confidence that this movie is going to be good. Of course, that can't be confirmed. There's a chance this thing could fall flat on its face, critically, commercially. The past two Sonic movies are in the 60s on Rotten Tomatoes, which is maybe close to the 50s where you can get rotten. But regardless, what the movie universe has delivered us so far has been good, if not great, and I don't see any reason why they're going to fumble this story, which has the most story potential out of anything they've done thus far. I think we are still in store for a solid movie, but we should be worried about all of the stuff that surrounds it and its release. This includes things like its marketing, its release date, its trailer, all of that. And one of the biggest reasons that we're gonna be talking about that is because the day I'm releasing this, at least I believe, it is August 20th of this year. This movie releases on December 20th of this year. We are dangerously close to this thing and we haven't had an ounce of proper marketing for this movie. Of course, earlier this year, in like January and February, they dropped a title treatment reveal and a bunch of cast announcements were made. We even got like a few set photos and stuff like that. Cool, but that's not really the marketing of this film. We are in August. We're more than halfway done with this year, and we don't even have a trailer yet. Not a teaser, not an official trailer, nothing. We don't even have a official announcement from Paramount that Keanu Reeves is playing Shadow the Hedgehog. Paramount quite literally has been just completely silent about this film. What kind of really started to tick me off and like actually start setting off like alarm bells in my head was when D23 happened. If you guys are wondering, that is Disney's big convention thing that they do where they make a bunch of announcements and have all these panels and stuff and they did one and they showed off a new trailer for Mufasa the Lion King. This was their second trailer for that film. They had one released three months months ago, and if you're wondering why I'm bringing that up, of course, it's because that movie is set to release on the same day as of now of Sonic Movie 3, which is December 20th. And their marketing campaign is in full effect. We got new posters, we got multiple trailers, and God knows what else they have planned. They have been able to get their marketing ball rolling, and if you look at the views, they are piling up and it's doing quite well. Let's also not forget that The Lion King from 2019 is still to this day, unfortunately, the highest grossing animated movie of all time. If you do not think that this has the potential to do big numbers and take away from Sonic Movie 3, you are mistaken. Of course, people watching this YouTube channel called Speed Super Sonic are going to prefer Sonic Movie 3 and would rather go see that, of course. I'm one of those people too. But like, come on guys. Paramount has had this release date picked for Sonic 3 for a long time, and Disney decided, hey, we kind of want that release date too. And it's kind of in one person or the other's court, who's going to budge? Whoever has more of the momentum, their movie can stay, and the other will probably have to move to another date, maybe a week or two after or before, or just a completely different time. And as of now, I don't know anyone who could argue that Sonic has the momentum right now and that Lion King doesn't. Lion King has all of the momentum in its favor, which is very unfortunate to say. I don't want to be saying that. I've been telling people that there is almost no way that Sonic 3 and Mufasa the Lion King are releasing on the same day. They attract too much of the same demographic of families. Both are family films. It doesn't matter if they're about different intellectual properties. They're aiming for the same demographic of people. They will cannibalize each other at the box office. And ultimately, I think Sonic will be trumped by Lion King if it were to go head to head with it. People have been talking about Disney's fall off and all of this stuff, but I I think we forgot that the past two Disney movies that have released this year, Deadpool and Wolverine and Inside Out 2, are well over a billion dollars at the box office and climbing. So, yeah. Disney has had rough patches, but they're doing just fine. There, of course, is the chance that Mufasa and the Lion King won't do that great, but I see it doing pretty solid. And I really don't see how Sonic can compete with it at this point if they just give us nothing. And that's the thing. I think Sonic would have been able to convince Lion King to maybe move a few months if it really had a balls-to-the-wall, very long marketing campaign, but they haven't done that, they haven't started that, they haven't started building hype and momentum for the movie. There's nothing there. The only marketing this movie is getting is the fact that 
merchandise is accidentally being put out on shelves early and people are going out to find it. I did this. By the way, new video coming soon. You guys are gonna really like it. A bit of a hunt. If you will. It's not just the fact that Lion King had an earlier start, around three months at this point, of marketing. It's the fact that we are now almost done with the month of August, and this movie releases, or supposedly is supposed to release, in December, and they have nothing. So this leaves us with two options at this point. One, Sonic Movie 3 can drop a trailer in a few days or weeks, and boom, the marketing campaign is getting started, they're in full effect, they're gonna keep going and going and going, it's gonna be a great fun time. But at the end of the day, they're stuck to that December 20th release date and Disney's feeling pretty confident about their Lion King movie which has had a lot more time months even of marketing and being able to put their trailer in front of a bunch of other massive summer blockbusters which Sonic 3 hasn't been able to do think about that Inside Out 2 which was massive has passed uh, Deadpool and Wolverine has passed stuff like Twisters even Lion King trailers are playing before that Sonic isn't. You can have that release date where, yes, both films might not perform as great as they could do because they're going head to head with very similar audiences, but at the end of the day, Sonic gets trumped by Lion King and opens to number two at the box office instead of what should be a number one performance for the film. Or the second option, which I know everyone is going to hate, Paramount will realize that they screwed up, that they chose a very aggressive release date, and that Disney inevitably was going to get it and have to delay. Because there's no way in hell that this movie's getting moved up by any stretch of the imaginations, whether it's by a week or two. If they don't even have a trailer ready for this thing in August, yeah, no, there's there's no, there, there's not that happening, absolutely not. And that's the unfortunate thing. I'm not saying that they're going to delay. I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I think one of the movies is going to hop off of that release date somehow. I think it's going to be Sonic at this point. But they didn't have to do this. If Paramount had a very aggressive marketing campaign for this film, they could have got Lion King to move. They could have applied pressure to Disney and really got them out of that release date where they don't have to worry about anything. But at this point, they can't do that because Disney's already gotten their start on it and they're feeling very confident about their movie and not even really even thinking about Sonic right now because there's nothing to think about. We haven't been able to see the movie that's coming out in only a few months. We're like four months away from this thing. Exactly to the day. And we don't have a single trailer, not even a teaser poster for this movie. It's getting ridiculous. This isn't me being impatient. This is the fact that they have a bad marketing campaign going on right now. People like to bring up the turnaround from the first Sonic Movie 2 trailer to the release of the film. And what I have to say to that is Sonic Movie 2 didn't have the same release date drama that Sonic Movie 3 has. Yes, there was stuff releasing around it, but it was incredibly minor like Morbius and a Harry Potter spin-off franchise that nobody cares about. In fact, I think it's canceled now. Sonic Movie 3 is going head to head with a Disney film that is a sequel to the biggest animated movie of all time. Yeah. I, I don't know what else, I don't know, what else do I say, chat? This is why we should be worried. This is why we should be concerned. This is the biggest thing. This movie's performance is in trouble. If this thing releases head to head with Lion King, I think there's a good chance that the Sonic movie franchise will be done because this is not going to perform well. If it goes head to head with Lion King, that is one of the dumbest decisions I have seen from a movie studio. They need to move or they need to put on a clutch Tom Brady, LeBron James performance and just go havoc with their marketing campaign. I mean dropping a trailer like this week, but the damn dropping this is Tuesday, so they've already missed a week. So anyways, I don't know guys. Uh, it, this is this is hard. This is sticky. I don't know what to expect. I I don't know what to expect genuinely. I think that we just need to wait and see. I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm in. I'm incredibly worried. Not for the film. Once again, I think the film will be solid. But in terms of the way this thing is being rolled out, I think there's a good chance that this movie could be affected at the box office because nobody even knows that this movie exists. And when I say that, I mean the general public, not Sonic fans, obviously. Also, just the fact that this has just been a very, very poor and overly secretive for no reason marketing campaign when it doesn't need to be that way. This is Sonic the Hedgehog 3, not Star Wars Episode 10. Yeah, I, I don't know, guys. That's what I think. Those are my frustrations. That's why I think that this thing is in, in a bit of a weird state and, and some stuff needs to be fixed and all of that and, and we'll see what happens. But of course, I'm still excited for the film. We will be talking about all aspects of it, but I needed to get this off my chest. But this is where I pass it off to you and ask what you think. Are you worried about Sonic Movie 3 at this point or are you completely confident in the film still? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. 
would love to know what you guys have to say. Feel free to follow my social media links, my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. You can follow those buttons in my life, which are the Android things Sonic the Hedgehog. If you're looking for a way to support the channel, you can become a channel member and get your name at the end of every single video that we produce. And you can join our Patreon for behind the scenes and early look at videos. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. This is the number one station on YouTube for all things Sonic with video games, TV shows, movies, comics, merchandise, and more. We talk about it all. We have a bunch of really cool videos planned coming to you guys very, very soon. I'm working on a whole bunch of stuff right now. I know I, I, I disappear for a little bit, but I got a lot of stuff, a lot of really cool stuff in the works. Stay tuned. We got some really cool videos coming to you guys just this week. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.